Hello, I'm Claire Taylor and I'm the Managing Director of City Music Foundation. Thank you for being there and for listening for a few minutes. CMF is a charity. It was founded in 2012 and its mission is turning talent into success. Each year we take a cohort of exceptional, accomplished, emerging musicians and they join the CMF Artists Programme for about two years, starting in the autumn each year. And that is a programme of career development and management. So we offer them uh, mentoring, business mentoring, artistic mentoring, music industry mentoring. We offer them a series of professional development workshops over the course of the year, usually every six or eight weeks, a whole day with different topics from tax and legal contracts through to presentation skills and networking through to meeting venue directors and festival uh, directors or agents and many other things in between. We also make their promotional tools. So we have a relationship with a number of record labels and do CD recordings for them. We make some lovely videos, which you can see on our website. Um, we make their websites for them and we do photo shoots so they've got good images to put on those websites and elsewhere. We have our own concert series in the City of London and we also have a residency at the Wallace Collection. And uh, we've also done some bigger promotions such as working with the English Chamber Orchestra and promoting concerts in um, Cadaver Hall. And we've done an opera in the past as well. Um, agency and management is a huge part of what we do and Latana works terrifically hard to get as many um, gigs uh, with venues and festivals as she can for all our artists nationally and increasingly internationally. Um, and developing partnerships as well, which is great going forward. So why do we do all this? Well, it's so hard when you emerge from a conservatoire, however good you are, however much you've got a gold medal or other accolades, you can disappear without trace um, very easily. So we're trying to prevent that happening and help them to find their way in a profession which they don't fully understand when they start out in it. They don't really understand the business of music. So we're trying to help with that because we want them to stay in it. We want them to be able to make a life from performance and for the next 40 years, perhaps, um, so that they'll be giving back to society, to our well-being, to audiences like you for all those years through live performance, through recordings um, and, and really reaching a huge number of people. So it's a massive investment in the future that CMF is making to keep these fabulous young artists in the profession at this very critical early stage. I like to see it as a parallel perhaps with a young doctor, if a very talented young doctor qualifies, more may be invested in that person. They might get to do a PhD and be funded for that, or they might um, do a leadership skills course or, or perhaps even a, a medical MBA or something like that. Not to make them feel good about themselves in the present, but because for the next 40 years, they'll be using that to give back to the society that's helped them to do it in the first place. So they'll be doing research, doing teaching, seeing patients, mentoring, all of that. So it's very much a parallel. It's an investment in the future of high quality live music in the UK and beyond. One of our artists once mem memorably said, uh, the conservatoire taught me to make music, but CMF is teaching me to make a living. Very good, but make a living that's not been going on very much in the last three months. It's been a terrible, terrible time for young musicians. They've lost virtually all their income, except for little bits of teaching that can be done over the internet. No gigs, nothing to look forward to. It's been three months now, it's likely to be another three months at, at least before anything gets going. It's in common with the whole arts sector, the whole performing arts world has, has, has stopped and all the affiliated professions that work with it as a part of what knits it together have also lost everything. March the 23rd was um, extraordinary, overnight. It was like dynamiting fish, um, total devastation, everything blown out of the water. So we've helped as much as we can with our small corner of the music industry to support our artists. And we've set up a hard, hardship fund, um, which has gone well, and we've been able to offer them some money to help pay the bills and eat food and wear clothes. Uh, we've run our workshops weekly um, on a Friday morning over Zoom and that's been a lot of fun and we've had some fantastic sessions. We have informal session once a week as well on Zoom just so people can talk and shopping. Um, we've carried on building websites, commissioning new music, 
um, and with the agency side going into the next year as far as possible as well. But what we're about to do is to have some live music. We're going to be performing live in the clock tower of St Pancras, the tower room, which is just below the clock. And we're very lucky to have been offered this space uh, to do this live streaming. And we're very grateful to the owner for that and for setting it up so that we can do it. So starting next week um, on the 17th of June and then every Wednesday after that at six o'clock, there'll be live music, no audience, but live streamed directly to you in real time. There is no substitute for live music that adrenaline rush, that never again moment of the creativity of a one-off performance. We, we all love recorded music, don't we? We wouldn't be without it. It's fabulous and wonderful, perfect. But it's perfect like a, a bee preserved in amber. And what we want is the buzz of the real thing. So please join us next week and all the weeks after that, um, if you can, at six o'clock and watch the performance over your computer with good speakers, hopefully. Um, and uh, if you can help us by supporting us financially for the cost of this, but also for what we may have to do in the coming months, which is I think to promote and curate more live gigs ourselves, to get our musicians back out there, get them back performing, get them back being paid, and to try and bring music back to life again. Thank you for your support.